and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Howdy there, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together, we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to show you how to stop sciatica with Dr. Stuart McGill's modified walkie program. Who is Dr. Stuart McGill? Bob, he's one of the latest and utmost back World authorities. World foremost yeah. back authorities. I would say he might be the guy. Yeah. He might be the, the number one. Right. He so. might be. <laughs> I really like the guy. He, he's he's yeah. put a ton of effort and a lot of research into his. He just Lots doesn't make this stuff up. Right. 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 So, what? Something like 80 studies or something like that he did. And he wrote a couple textbooks. Yeah, so. more than two. He's got yeah. As a matter of fact, the textbook we're referring to is the one made for the layperson. Layperson, right. Uh, right here. It's called Back Mechanic. Um, and it's, uh, it's written, written well so you can understand. And that's where we're getting. I bought a few of these for our family members already. Really? Did they yeah. read them? Yeah, they did. Excellent. Are they so, better? No. <laughs> it was. It ended up being something they couldn't treat. Right, and, right. So. And that happens occasionally it with, does. with back pain because it's a real, it can be a tough problem. But this is an excellent uh, option to try uh, right. if you got sciatica, if you got pain going down the leg, particularly past the knee. Um, yeah. And it's a, it's a bugger to treat. Right, right. But as, as we've uh, really promoted, as well as Dr. McGill does, right. walking as a form of back treatment. But particularly with sciatica, you just don't get up and go for a walk. You need to uh, adjust your body properly and find the proper posture, and that's what we're going to start with. Well, so, you want your pain under control. Exactly, yeah. yep. So what the first step is, we'll go step by step sure. with this, is you're going to actually lie down on your stomach. You could do this on your bed. Uh, a firm bed would be preferable. If you can't get down on the floor, a carpeted floor is probably a little bit better. So as Bob is uh, demonstrating here, lying prone or on your stomach. Uh, and what advanced would be going into a fist. Yep. And more advanced would be going into two fists. And, you know, I personally think even more important than saying it's advanced is whatever position you can find to make your leg symptoms right. decrease or go away is ideal. That doesn't always happen. It might even be, the, I don't know if he advocates this, but the prone prop. Right. You get up on your elbows right. and, and just try this. Yep. So Once it happens, and it's probably going to take a minute or two before you uh, maximize your leg symptoms or reduce them. Then you're going to carefully get up on your feet, and then you're going to stand, and then look at your pelvic position and find a, pos a comfortable position in regards to your back and leg pain so that it feels the best. Once you find, and that may be done by an anterior uh, tilt or a posterior tilt, uh, side to side, but once so you find the, the most comfortable... Yep. Your position here. Yep. So this is the anterior tilt. Yep. So I'm tilting the pelvis forward. Sure. And this is the posterior tilt. Right. Now, you want to find the magic spot right. where it feels the best. Right. And that's going to be the spot where the pressure is off the nerve, reducing the leg symptoms. And then once you find that spot, you tighten up your core muscles and maintain that position before you start walking. And then while you're walking, we try to maintain that position. Uh, yeah, it takes a little adjusting, too, because you're tightening up your abdomen the entire time. Not, right. You don't have to go crazy. Like, no. <laughs> but, but just... Enough that it gives you support. Right. And this is something, if you're not real familiar with working with your core or your abdominal and core muscles, that takes some practice. Uh, you know, if you've been doing a lot of core exercises for over the last couple of years, you're more familiar with that. Uh, but so be patient with that. You know where this was very revealing to me, Brad, yeah. was I was shoveling my driveway yep. and my back really hurt. Yep. And I started tightening my core. Yep. It went away. I mean, just that protection yep. made a difference. Yeah. So when you tighten them core muscles, it's just like putting a back belt on, and it puts pressure around the spine. Yeah, the other example spine. is I have patients who can't get out of bed without pain, but they tighten their core and then roll and right. get out of bed, they don't have pain. There you go. So, so you're going to get to that point, and then you're going to start to walk. Uh, and you can start shifting side to side. If that feels good, start walking. And then with your arms, you're going to actually swing. Make sure you're swinging from the shoulder 
and not from the elbow. And then the speed of your walking, oftentimes if you pick up the speed, instead of taking real gentle, uh, cautious walking, right. pick up the speed a little bit. Now you're not race walking, right. but you're picking up the speed and that can reduce pressure on the back. People are often surprised. Like they'll come in and they're just limping and they're, they look like they can barely make it from the door to the mat. Mm -hmm. And then we have them walk faster and oh, it actually feels better. And I think part of it is when you do pick up your speed, naturally your posture improves, uh, which may be part of it. Uh, but with Stuart McGill, once you start walking, now you're going to monitor your sciatic pain. Right. If it starts coming back, that's the point you want to stop walking. And he gives two and we're options. Specifically, talking about the pain in the leg. Right, yes, Brad? right, exactly. Mm -hmm. If that pain starts going down the leg again, worsening down the leg. Worsening, there you go. Uh, then, <laughs> this is uh, the, the tricky part of this modified program right. is you need a solid surface about the size of a bench or a chair or whatever it may be. And you're going to do some decompression through your spine. And I'm going to demonstrate it on, on this chair, which works good for me. And I've done this before walking, and it's done wonders for me. And I'll go like this, and I'll, you're putting weight through your arms and taking the weight off of your legs, which decompresses the spine. And then you're looking for, you may have to lean, you know, just modify the position of your body. And if you get the, the uh, sciatica to release as a result and get better, your, your goal, then you're going to hang out for not more than 60 seconds. And then once you get it better, you can go start walking, walking again. again. Yep. So ideally, you want to be a park in a park that has a lot of solid park branches. <laughs> right. The only other thing I'm thinking too, Brad, is like you're walking along, and all of a sudden you see a park branch, and a couple of people are sitting on it. You go, you go behind them, <laughs> yeah. and you start to yeah, lean on. This is what there Dr. Go. McGill said. Yeah. The doctor told me to do so, it. It has got some problems. Right. Now, I, I at my house, I could just walk up and down my driveway. I got sure. about a 100-foot driveway. At the early phases of yep. this, you know, you may Very only walk, walk 100 feet, and then I'm not too far from where I can. Right. Maybe you know, a railing or a countertop. Yep. Or it's it's got to be something solid. solid. Yeah. The other option, which is easier to come about, is the wall walking. Sure. So This really isn't decompression. No. But it's, it's a different way to possibly take the pain out of your leg. Right. So you just go up to a wall, any wall. You could actually go up to a tree. Um, and go like this, and then just start walking your hands up. And if that actually takes the pain out of your leg, you know, this would probably be the easier option as right. opposed to the decompression on the bench. And again, you're not going to hold this real long, you know, uh, but you get relief and come back down. And if the relief maintains in your leg, continue with your walk until you start to feel the pain again. Now, to start out with, you're probably not going to, you're only going to do this a two, or, two or three times, and then you know go on. But then he says continue to increase the distance that you walk, and you know monitor it. And uh, as things go better, then eventually you won't even have to do the decompression right. or the wall walking. You'll just do your walking you with know, good posture. Walking is amazingly good for back pain. It's getting more blood flow to the area mm -hmm. and more nutrients. And I, I gave my nephew, who I sent the, this his book to, right. and unfortunately did not get better, but he could walk. He sure. could walk for hours. Oh, really? Yeah, and it felt a lot better when he did that. Right, yeah, good, good form of treatment. Yeah. So... It helps mentally, too. Yeah, oh, absolutely. You, know, you just, you know... You're it dealing gives with you this a, pain, which is hard to deal with, yep. and it gives you... Uh, Something to look forward to during the day. Yeah, it gives you a release. You're oh, you're just not. Now he uh, often recommends like uh, three or four times a day, right? Yes. Yep. Yep. And again, increasing the, the distance as the distance. tolerated. Sure. Listening to that leg pain, uh, and, and eventually, hopefully, you can eliminate. And if you have no symptoms in the leg anymore and just back pain, uh, continue to walk more. But that's a good sign. Yeah, walk it, your way to a pain-free life. And uh, remember, Brad and I have no waiting room at Bob and Brad, our channel. We have no waiting room. You can come right in. You oh, I get wait. it. Yeah, you just got to... You get the exercise yeah, right. Look at your phone or your computer or whatever you, you know, yeah, observe you us on. You could, if you really want to see our big, ugly faces, go on a big screen TV and hook it up to YouTube. <laughs> <Yeah>. and, <laughs> that'll, that'll scare you. Scare, that'll, that'll scare little children. <laughs> so, <laughs> Take care. Thanks. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, we got to show this. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. That, By the way, if you're having back pain, uh, we, this is our giveaway this week. This oh, is that's a right. beautiful massage this gun. This is a powerful massage gun. This is gun. our most powerful gun. We just came out on the market with it, and uh, it'll knock your socks off. You probably yeah. aren't going to use this on your back for sciatica, yeah. but you could use it on a lot of other sore muscles, right. tight muscles. Really made for maybe a little bulkier person because uh, a thinner person probably could get by with one of our smaller guns. Right, but, right. But uh, for anyway, those, go to bobandbrad.com, go to the giveaway that. section, and uh, we'll have it listed there. We got a bunch of uh, different heads that uh, come Oh, up. yeah. I've got a hamstring thing going on, and I got to use this before the weekend. I've got... Big event on bicycle. There it is. I've got the you spot back. Yep. And that's it. You know, when you find the spot, you work that spot till yep. it gets better or it goes away. Yep. You make it unrelenting. It's working, Bob. It's All feeling right. better. Well, anyways, so All right. good luck with everything and be Thanks careful. For watching.